Hello friends, welcome back to our series uh, Math for Machine Learning and we will continue with our new part which is the probability theory and today we are go going to discuss few basic terminologies so that it will help us uh, you know, explaining the further concepts. Okay. So, in order to explain the basic terminologies which is outcome, sample space, event and probability, let us consider a uh, event or an experiment where we are going to flip three coins and uh, we are interested to know what is the chance or probability of getting two tails. So, basically this is how we can do it. Suppose, I flip my I flip my first coin okay, and what are the two expected uh, output I can get is either I can get an H, a head or I can get a tail right. Then I flip my uh, second coin. So, if say after flipping my first coin I get an H. So, I flip my second coin. So, I can get either an head or I can get a tail and say in my after flipping my first coin I got a tail. So, if I flip my second coin then I can get either a head or I can get a tail right. And if I flip my third coin, so if I had got an a head here, so I can probably get an head again or I can get a tail and here also I can get either an head or I can get a tail and here I can get either an head again or tail and similarly I can get either an head or a tail and in uh, and in order to clarify a little bit more so uh, here uh, this event where I flip my first coin I got an head I flip my second coin I got an head again okay and I flip my third coin I got an head again so these are all independent and they're all happening uh, in independently. So, that means, if this has happened in my first experiment of course, the remaining thing did not happen right. And uh, if this event has happened that I flip my first coin I got a tail, I flip my second coin I got a tail again and I flip my third coin and then I got a tail. So, this event when this event has occurred of course, this event did not happen and so on right. So, they basically they are all independently happening. I am not saying that they are all happening at the same time. I am not flipping all my coins at the same time. I am flip, I'm flipping my coin in a sequence. So, I flip my first coin, then I flip my second coin and then I flip my third coin in this experiment. Of course, I could have flipped all my coins at the same time, but then just for demonstration purpose here, I wanted to clarify that I am doing this experiment in a sequential manner. Okay. So, now let us look at what are the outputs I would get. The first one could be I got all head, the second one is head, head, tail, the third one is head, tail, head, the fourth one is head, tail, tail, the fifth one is tail, head, head, the sixth one is tail head tail the seventh one is tail tail head and the final one is tail 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 okay so when i flip my coin right when i flip my coin in a sequence any of these outcomes can happen right so this individual outcome uh, or uh, result or output that I get from my experiment are called outcomes. So, that means, this is an outcome, this is an outcome and so on right. There are total 8 outcome possible outcomes here. So, now hope you got the uh, definition of outcome that means, when you performed an experiment you got an output, you got a result and that is called an as an outcome. So, here there are 8 possible 
outcome and these are all individual outcomes here so head head tail head 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 these are all individual outcomes okay second thing is about the sample space when i say talk about sample space that means we are talking about what are the possible outcomes which i have already seen there are eight possible outcome so your sample space is basically eight that means these are all the possible outcomes if i flip a coin uh, if i flip a coin uh, uh, sorry if i flip three coins uh, either i uh, flip them sequentially or if i flip them all simultaneously these are the possible eight outcomes i could get nothing beyond so it might not happen that one coin has you know out of nowhere stood in the middle and the remaining four two i got a tt that is not going that is not what we are considering here we are considering that our whenever we flip a coin it should either give us a head or it should give us a tail and so on yeah so my sample space is the total possible outcomes okay and uh, whenever we talk about event event means what are the favorable outcomes are we looking for so in this case we are looking for two tails and that is the favorable outcome we are looking for so let's see wherever we are getting two tails so th in this is one case where we are getting an event which is favorable to us so which is h t t that means we are getting two tails then this outcome where we have tail head and tail and then we have the third one which is tail tail head so that means whenever we mention something called as event is the favorable outcome that we are looking for in this case the event has three values okay now let's look into the final definition which is probability which we have already seen in our previous example yesterday about that going from location a to b and what is the chance of reaching from a to b within 45 minutes right in this case what is the chance or probability of getting two tails so i know that these are the three events i am looking for and out of how many i am looking for is that eight so basically it is the ratio of e over the sample space that means it, the probability of getting two tails is three by eight so i hope you have learned something new today and we will look the rules of probability there are three rules and we will look that in our next video so till then have a great day